In this problem, an object travels along this curved path, and uh, the starting point is at the origin. And its horizontal velocity, vx, is given as a function of time, that is a 4t meter per second. And we also know that its vertical position, y, is related to its horizontal position, x. And we need to determine the magnitudes of its velocity acceleration, as well as the distance from the origin at t equals to 3 seconds. So since vx equals to 4t, and we know that vx equals to dx dt. Therefore, from here, we can multiply both equations by dt. So we have 4t dt equals to dx. Integrate on both sides. Um, the initial time is 0. The current time is t. Initial position, because the initial, the initial position is at the origin, therefore, x equals to 0 when t equals to 0, integrate to current x. Therefore, from here, we can find x as a function of t to be uh, the integration of 4t, so that's 2t squared in a unit of meter. And then, since y equals to x squared over 8, therefore y equals to x squared over 8, uh, and we can also find that as a function of time. So that's 2t squared raised to the second power over 8. So that's 1 half t to the fourth power. And if that's the case, then we can find vy. vy equals to dy dt, which equals to the differentiation of this with respect to time. Therefore, that's 2t to the third power in a unit of meter per second. Alternatively, if uh, in this problem, because we need to find distance, but if in some problems we do not need to find the distance, we can draw the conclusion um, directly that because y equals to x squared over 8, then vy equals to dy dt, applying chain rule that you learn from calculus, that equals to dy over dx times dx dt. dy dx equals to, from here, the, take the derivative with respect to x, that equals to 2 over 8, therefore 1 quarter times x, and then multiply by dx dt, which is vx, which is 4t right here. And because we know that x equals to 2t squared, therefore this becomes 1 quarter times 2t squared times another 4t, 2 times t to the third power as well. Same result here. So that's just an alternative method to determine vy. So now we have vx and vy. So, so our in terms of distance, we have x equals to 2t squared, y equals to 1 half t to the fourth power, both in the unit of meter. In terms of velocity, we have vx equals to 4t, that's a given. And then vy equals to 2 times t to the third power. And then acceleration, because a always equals to dv dt, therefore take the time derivative of these two equations, we get ax equals to simply 4 in the unit of meter per second squared, and ay equals to take the time derivative of this one, that will be 6 times t to the second power. So now we can evaluate. So at time equals to 3 seconds, evaluating from these two equations, x equals to 2 times 3 squared, that's 18 meter, y equals to 1 half times 3 to the fourth power, that's 81 over 2 meter for now. And then vx equals to 12 
meter per second, Vy equals to 54 meter per second. And lastly, in terms of acceleration, Ax equals to still 4 constant, and Ay equals to 6 times 3 to the second power, 54 meter per second. And as you can tell, x and y are the two components of our position vector. Therefore, the position s simply equals to, according to Pythagorean theorem, square root of x squared plus y squared. So in that case, 44.3 meter. Similarly, total v equals to, so these vx and vy are the two components of our v vector. Therefore, v equals to square root of 12 squared plus 54 squared, and that equals to 55.3 meter per second. And similarly, for a, it's the square root of 4 squared plus 54 squared, and that equals to 54.1 meter per second squared. So that's the total distance from the origin at time equals to 3 seconds. At that time, the magnitude of velocity is 55.3. And at that time, the magnitude of acceleration is 54.1 meter per second squared.